I just abandoned greetings altogether. I kind of feel bad because since it's kind of the signature of my channel to greet people with a konnichiwa, rakusit here, and then start just yapping about all of whatever what I want to say. Even the intros, even my outros of um, I want some you to look time bye. It's not, I actually do mean them. It's just sometimes I just want to get to the point. And sometimes when I try to get to the point, I tend to over explain stuff and then I kind of lose track of what I want to say. Like right now, like the previous footage is like probably like around 10 minutes long and I just wanted, I couldn't get straight to the point that hey, blah blah blah. Anyway, now let's go to things people today don't actually believe exist. Come on guys. Education is rampant. Everything is available online. Does it hurt to read or watch the news? Well, not everything in the news is believable, but yeah, you know what I mean? Everything is out there now. Nothing is hidden from sight. Anyway, let's talk about mental health. Ooh, she's mentally ill. What does that even mean? People tend to um, underestimate mental health since, oh, you're not dying, you're, you're fine, you're okay, it's just all in your head. But guess what? Most of the processes in your body involve your head, so if your head is not red and it's gears, it's a big problem, hmm, okay? Right, so why are we talking about mental health? I just wanted to continue off from the last point of the previous footage which was involving going outdoors and my social life. Okay, in regards to that point, I have anxiety, okay? Uh, I don't know if you watched previous videos or other videos about me regarding my mental health, but I have been diagnosed with I did this order. See, I can't even say it that word without, without feeling weird. Okay. I have anxiety disorder. I'm an overthinker. I'm an overanalyzer. Things I don't even need to worry about, I worry about them. 24-7. This never stops. Like, I don't even know how I, how I get to sleep at night. I guess I just eventually get tired of me thinking that I just pass out. I can't even like just sleep at night and be like, ah, relax, sleep at night. Well, it's not that I think negatively about everything in the world. The thing is, I think about everything. Even right now, as I talk to you, I'm constantly thinking of something I did before, or what I'm gonna do next, or what I'm gonna, what I'm currently doing. It's just an explosion of thoughts. <sighs> Me too. I have that polarity, you know? It's either overthinking or my brain just goes black and empty. Then I forget everything that I need to say. I get brain farts. <sighs> okay. So, I have anxiety disorder. So when you bring me outside, I, I am actually really phobic. Really phobic of crowds. I have claustrophobia. I, I can't be in a crowd or in a place with really small space in the sense that I'm, I feel like I'm gonna start choking if I if I don't get to stretch out my entire body and breathe freely without any worries. I have a lot of phobias and I, um, how do I say this? Well, when you say phobia, you extreme dislike and fear, right? But most of the time, I feel like for me, it's mostly fear. Because in general, I if I don't think about them, I don't say things like, oh, I hate, I hate heights, but I live in the second floor, I always look downstairs and I don't really feel much of anything. But I guess it's when the thought of getting scared comes to mind that it becomes very, very much relevant to me in the sense that, oh, I'm gonna have to jump from here or eventually I'm gonna have to climb something. That's, it's what, it's my thoughts, okay? I'm getting, getting kind of sidetracked here again, aren't I? Alright, and there's social anxiety. I, you know what? Whenever it's for other people, I can do it without any problem. But when it comes to myself, I get highly critical 
and I tend to jump into conclusions when I shouldn't even be doing that, you know. I <laughs> find it hard to uh, approach people unless there's something important that I need to say to them or someone needs me to say it, to tell someone else. I I very much prefer to keep to myself in a way I'm self-centered in the sense that, you know, I'm in my own business. If you want to get up in my business, I probably will let you or not, but I'm kind of like, I'm reserved. I'm on it and to top it all off, I'm an introvert. I have social battery. People don't believe in social batteries. They think that, oh, it's all in your head. <laughs> don't you understand? That's the thing. It's all in my head. <laughs> and, you know, it's uh, it's kind of a mixture of everything that because I'm an introvert, I have a social battery. And because I have anxiety, I don't get enough rest. I don't get my social battery charged. So, help. <laughs> mm. Mental illness again, huh? So another now let's get off to that social part. Um, now let's talk about mental illness in general and how it actually affects me personally. Another one of um, my diagnosis. Uh, I had a I had a kind my 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 teenage years wasn't the the limelight of my life, but. In a way, I'm kind of grateful that it happened because it helped me develop my sense of self. So, <laughs> I also used to, um, well, it's hard to say used to because it's a disease. I'm sure there's a cure for it, but the thing is, it relapses. It's not like a chicken pox, you get it once, you don't get it again, because you do get chicken pox again. Which, not the point that I'm trying to say here, but the thing is, comes and it goes. Um, yeah, it, I didn't get to say my other diagnosis yet because I've been con con consistently just talking. Okay, uh, I had depression um, years ago. Why am I saying it with a smiley face? Because it's a bit awkward to talk about serious things. Um, without either crying or putting on a really serious um, kind of a, a straight neutral face but yeah I, I suffered uh, it was extremely difficult and because of that it was coupled with my anxiety too There, there are certain things that normal people are able to do, which I believe I'm physically capable of doing too, but I, I just, I really just can't. Not, not because I convince myself that I can't, but the thing is, I know that my mental capability is not to that extent yet. Let's talk about things in general first, okay? We can talk about spirituality and religion later and how because of it I I can actually put my mind into it and actually do it without thinking about my limitations. But in general, you know, we're we're all human. We have imperfections, we have our flaws, we have our things that makes us different from others, so this is me. My sensitive skin, my sensitive mind. I'm gonna give you another <laughs> long video next about the main point of why I'm even making uh, this webcam diary in the first place. So, you know, this is just me opening up to you about the actual mental illnesses that I have. Actually, I actually have a last one. It's been diagnosed as mild, and I, I, I'd like to keep it that way, but I have obsessive compulsive disorder too, but let's talk about that in the next video. Blackbird flies into the light of a dark black night.